What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix crackling or popping audio sounds on your Windows PC. Now, if you've got a Windows PC, whether it be Windows 10, which is normally what most people are using nowadays, Windows 10 has been plagued with audio issues, and uh, I've been suffering with uh, crackling and also stuttering and sort of interference when I'm streaming on YouTube or when I'm recording any sort of audio. So let's go down to our sound icon on the bottom right hand corner by clicking sounds and this will open up a little pop-up box and I'll show you how to try and rectify the problems that I've been having. So we're going to go into here and select our speakers and go to properties. Once the properties uh, box is open you'll see here there's an advanced tab here click on this and you'll see that the default format is at 24 bit. We want to change this down to 16 bit 44,100 hertz CD quality. Click apply. You may get a warning here, just say yes. And uh, that's that set in stone. So basically, that should now uh, try to resolve a lot of the problems, especially with Windows 10. Next, go over to the enhancements here and disable all the sound effects. This is another known problem uh, with Windows 10 where this can resolve a lot of issues by just disabling all the sound effects and then click OK here. Now there is one more place that we need to go into that area there. So I'm going to go back in, go back into my speakers and go properties. And in the advanced tab here, you'll see exclusive mode. So you basically want to remove the tick from exclusive mode, which allows applications to take exclusive control of this device just remove the tick from this this is also another known area where it causes problems inside your windows operating system with audio especially stuttering and lag popping and crackling next go down to the start button right click and go to device manager inside the device manager window where they're going to be looking for our audio so it should be up the top there pull this down and look for your speakers. This is it right at the bottom. You can see it's a Realtek audio. So I'm gonna right click and update. Let that update and see if there's any updates available. If there is, it will install the latest updates. If it's not and it's okay, then that doesn't mean there isn't an update available. But what you wanna do here is make sure that you search for updated drivers on your Windows system by using the uh, update drivers on Windows updates. Click on this one and it will open up the Windows updater and just run this and make sure that you're fully updated because there could be some sort of patch that they've used to fix uh, the known problem or issues that you're having with your audio. Now also what you want to check is the website for the creator of your sound uh, card on your motherboard. Uh, or go to the motherboard manufacturer's website and you can get the information by going to the properties of that sound card here and you can see it's a driver and we're looking at driver date and we're also looking at the creator of it which is Realtek in my case yours might be something different in this case I would go to the Realtek website and see what version and what date of release uh, drivers they have on their website now if they have newer versions it's always best and advisable to download those because they could resolve a lot of problems uh, that you may be having with your audio. In my case, it was fully updated and there was no updates available. But if there was one available, you want to download it and install it manually. OK, now you may need to go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and download the uh, sound drivers from there also. Next up, we're going to go to the search box here and go to control panel. Just type in your control panel in the search box and you should see your audio inside here. I've got Realtek HD Audio Manager. Open this up and just make sure that all the settings are correct, okay? Make sure there's no weird settings selected in here like Cathedral or anything like that. This is going to give you uh, funny experiences when you're playing your audio. So I've got um, everything set here as it should be. Just checking inside here. You've also got your default format which you can... Uh, restore but make sure that the setting here is on the lowest 16 bits on here otherwise you could run into issues okay once you've done all this 
what we're going to do is go to this site and it's called latency mon and what this will do is it will scan your um, your computer and see if there's any latency issues with your computer and this can cause problems like lag in your audio now when I've been playing games I've been getting some weird lag issues with the audio and it sounds very robotic and this is because of the lag so we're going to download the latency mon from this website I'll leave the links in the video description download this and we're going to install it once we get this installed we're going to do a test on our system so any sort of stuttering that you're getting with your audio sometimes you may get a popping that's going on with your audio or you may get crackling in the background interference and it can be quite um, frustrating especially when you're recording uh, audio and you're still getting interfer interference there so let me quickly install the software this is a very quick to install you can be using the home version here which is the free version to use once the program's installed we can then start to run it and run a test on our system so what we're going to do is push the play button and this will run a scan on the system and it will see if there's any audio latency or any sort of issues with the audio you'll see it here running scans you can see your system appears to be having trouble handling real-time audio and other tasks you're likely to experience buffering underruns uh, dropouts clicks pops and all that sort of stuff and you can see here and they're asking you to go to your power management and disable CPU throttling settings and that's what I'm going to do you can also check your BIOS as well for updates so they're the things that you can do so I'm going to go down into the search box here and I'm going to go into power and this will be our power and sleep settings on the right hand side we've got additional power settings here open this window up and we're going to put it onto high performance now there is an ultra performance setting which I've made a video on you can also put it on there if you wish I'm just going to put it on high performance now once we've done this we've got this on high performance instead of balanced and that is the setting that I want to use here so what I want to do before I go back and test I'm going to right click on the task bar here and open up task manager I'm also going to go into here and go to details right click here and select columns once the uh, select columns is open this will allow us to make changes here so I want to select a column I'm going to come down to the bottom here and I just want to check to make sure everything is okay in here I'm going to power throttling click OK and I'm going to expand all this and make it so I can see what power throttling settings are and you can see they've now all been disabled and that's exactly how I want it I don't know power throttling going on because that can cause lag and buffer underruns and also other issues with your audio so let's go and open up the latency program again and then we've got this open I'm going to push start again and let it run and see whether it uh, resolves my problem and there we go the system appears to be uh, suitable for handling real-time audio and other tasks without dropouts so since I've done all these settings I've now resolved my problem with my audio I've been having massive audio issues with Windows 10 and it's basically been causing a lot of interference you've probably heard the odd crackle and pop in my videos and that's due to the uh, interference that I was getting and also buffer underruns but now that's all been resolved by doing these settings I hope this one helps you out my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.